our CBS newsroom in New York on this, the first broadcast of network television's first daily half-hour news program. There was a time, not so long ago, when most folks got their news from one of three television networks, NBC, ABC, or CBS. We had something we shared, something very much in common. We all had the same frame of reference, the same basic information, and it was often delivered by Walter Cronkite at 6.30 weeknights. Good evening, Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Five men, apparently caught in the act of burglarizing and bugging Democratic headquarters in Washington. For it seems now more certain than ever that the bloody experience of Vietnam is to end in a stalemate. Those three networks and their six anchors produced the news that was discussed and debated. The commonality of that news was the stable ground upon which decisions were made. Whether you were a pilot, a nurse, a soldier, an executive, it didn't matter. You all had the same information. And subsequent network anchors performed the same function, although not with the credibility of Walter Cronkite. But then it happened. This is CNN. In June of 1980, CNN burst into our lives, and television news was forever changed. CNN was at the forefront of what would be the explosion onto the scene of scores of television networks. So no longer would we have the common knowledge as provided by the three networks. Now we must learn to live with news coming at us from all directions and loaded with bias.